All right, how's it going, y'all? I'm actually really excited today because I get to show off one of the best home bridge plugins I've ever seen. This guy, you should really think about donating to him, is amazing and has absolutely brought in all Unify cameras, including doorbells with full functionality into Apple HomeKit using HomeBridge. So that means just right here, I can see all my Unify cameras. Right now I've just got the doorbell up and it's got full functionality. Whenever somebody rings my doorbell, my Apple TV pops up with a view of them and you can lock and unlock the door directly from there. It has full talk capability and this guy has made it integrate so easy. You could not get a better experience even from a first party app. It is that good. So this is gonna be how to set that up. So first off, if you don't know what Homebridge is, Homebridge is essentially a way to duct tape together non HomeKit accessible devices into HomeKit. And I've got videos for setting them up on pretty much any device you can imagine in the description below. I'll make sure to put those in there. I might forget one or two. I'll allow them in it eventually though. And so pretty much half the devices in my house are not actually HomeKit accessible, but they are still being able to be brought into my HomeKit setup, my Apple ecosystem, using HomeBridge and different plugins. And this one plays so nicely, and I'm gonna go over how to set that up fully with Unify. All right, so first off, we'll just go ahead and open up the plugin, and I'm just gonna completely remove this out so we can start fresh. All right, and so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started as if it's a fresh install. So go ahead and load up your HomeBridge instance, and obviously the HomeBridge and the Unify controller will need to be able to talk. And we're just gonna go ahead and do HomeBridge Unify Protect. And this is the one right here to use. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit install on it, close it, and then just go ahead and open up the page because it's got a ton of information here that we need to know. And this guy, if you read this, he has done everything. He has made it as good, if not better, than what I would expect out of a first party integration in between the two. It's got everything in there. And setting it up is really easy. So once it's gone ahead and installed, we just need to do a couple of things. We just need to add in the controller address. And so this is the IP address associated with your controller. Pretty much, most likely if you've got a UDM Pro, it's your UDM Pro, whatever is controlling your Unify controller. So I'm gonna just type that in here. And then we just need to go ahead and have a username and password. And so to do that, we actually need to just create a new item. So I'm just gonna open up a text edit document and we are going to set this guy up. We'll call Homebridge as the username and the password. Don't worry, I'm gonna delete this. I'm just gonna bash a bunch of characters. That seems like a good enough of a strong password to me. Now I guess I'll expand this out so everybody can read it. Okay. So now we've got a username and password, obviously set up Homebridge is probably a good one for everybody to use and then just have a random long password, keep everything nice and safe. And so now we just need to go ahead and open up the Unify controller. So this right here is my Unify controller and I'm gonna go in and we're going to go down into users and add a new user. So you can see this is the one I've currently got and we're just going to add a brand new one and they're going to be a limited admin and we're going to cut down their permissions a lot too. So for account type, local access only. And for the name, Homebridge. And for the username and password, we are going to add those in that we just set up. And I just added a capital A to this because it wants a capital letter. So now for permissions, we're gonna be very specific and we're going to give them no access to anything except for Unify Protect. And for Unify Protect, we will give them view only. And so now we will go ahead and add them. Do we need to have a last name? Just throw in whatever name you want in there. And so now we've got a limited admin right here that we've got set up. And so now for that, We'll just go back in here and copy and paste in these. Now there are a ton more settings in here. You can literally add in your own custom doorbell replies, everything you want, but we don't need to do anything more. We're just gonna go ahead and hit save on this and it's going to go ahead and restart. We'll restart her 
And we'll see since we, I remove that plugin, the doorbell will have gone, but now it's coming back up. All right, and so now we just gave it a second, and now, boom, every single device you have in there will have just been added in. This plugin works wonders. It has just automatically found everything we need and has automatically added them into the entire Protect system. It requires zero communication, zero configuration to get this to work. That is all there is to it, and it works so well. I wanna give huge props to this guy right here, HJD, HJD. I don't know what that username means, but I know this guy has done an insanely great job of setting this up. And so seriously, check out this project. It works so well. And everything just comes together automatically. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this. As you can see, this took zero time at all, and that's how easy this plugin is to set up and use. Go and leave in their homebridge tutorials who'd like to see me make in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.